Hi everyone, I'm back with day three of 10 days of Ayurveda where I wanted to bring you 10 different tips related to my daily routine and connected to Ayurveda for the month of February, the month of love, self-care, self-love. It might um, go into March just because everything's been a bit crazy on my end, but trying to still uh, send out these videos or share these videos with you. So today I'm going to talk about warm water or hot water. So this is actually a very basic uh, tip. And I know in the two previous videos, I there were like products that you might have to purchase or find at home. Or So I wanted to also make sure that the tips I'm giving are accessible. And of course, this one I know for mostly for, for sure that people will be able to do this. So the idea is that in Ayurveda, again, I talked about this in the previous video, that digestive health is really important and your agni or your digestive fire is really at the root of your health, right? It's an indicator of your overall health. And so one of those, another thing connected to that is like sort of the toxins that are filtered throughout our body daily, right? And our body naturally knows how to, to get rid of those things, we hope, right? And in Ayurveda, those are called ama, sort of the toxins that are in, in the body, bacteria, anything, right? It's grouped into uh, that one phrase, ama. And a way that Ayurveda views getting rid of this ama or toxins daily is by drinking warm water throughout the day to kind of sort of melt it away. That's kind of the, the image that um, many teachers have uh, told me when they're teaching this concept, right? Uh, so what is typically recommended is when you're waking up within like the first 30 minutes or so, you can either take a small pot and uh, fill it with water and bring it to a boil and reduce it down and then drink a cup of that or just use your tea kettle and boil water and drink it plain. Again, if you're working with an Ayurvedic counselor, practitioner or doctor, they might also prescribe a specific like spiced tea or something else, which I'll get into in a different video. But the warm water is a great place to start and uh, something that most anybody can do. And you might be thinking that's really boring, that's very basic, and you're completely right, it is, and that's kind of the point of it, is to ha start your morning with a non-stimulating sort of beverage, right? We all love coffee, we love teas, smoothies, all of these things, but in reality, when we're first waking up, sometimes our body really can't handle that. Just like you don't want someone like yelling in your face or like telling you to do something when you first wake up, it's similar to what you're putting in your body. And so um, some people, you know, they might put a little bit of lemon if they're, if they're sort of starting this out that might be something that you can do to make it like more fun or flavorful for you uh until you can work your way up to just like the plain water and then um you know maybe one or two small cups or just one cup depending on what works best for you and that can also help to stimulate the first bowel movement of the day uh depending on your body type and you know your current uh, imbalances or whatever you're currently dealing with your current schedule as well daily routine and again you can boil that in a little pot and reduce it down or um, in a tea kettle and then the other thing is you can also just sip on the warm water throughout the day we're in the perfect time right now where we're still in cold weather if you live in New England that this can be something you can easily start it gets a bit tricky in the summer of course to to implement that I personally still do that that can also be overheating if you're drinking like boiling water during the summer months. That's not, that's also not recommended through the lens of Ayurveda, but it is sort of generally speaking, um, a nice like thing to incorporate. I also find that if you really had a really indulgent meal and you want to wait like 30 minutes after you've eaten and sipping on a little bit of hot water can also help. Um, and again, I'll share more about spice teas later, which is another, another level to the sort of warm drinks and you know it might seem boring but get a nice fun mug if you can and that can be your little go-to with maybe a meditation practice just reflection reading your spiritual text whatever that may be religious text in the morning and that can sort of the, the other idea is that this creates a sattvic lifestyle and sat in in um ayurveda sattva is sort of the idea of harmony clarity purity in your life and that's sort of one step that can sort of bring you a little bit of peace and it's something that can be really easy and accessible for us all to do. So go ahead and try that. Again, try an herbal tea, try something else if you're 
if you if it's just getting the warm beverage in then get it however you can and then try to get to just plain water and see see how you're feeling uh, and I've I often will ask for warm water at a restaurant and people are like we don't have tea I'm like that's fine I just need hot water so you'll see how it works for you and your digestive system as you uh, continue to to test it out so I hope that's helpful if you think it's weird that's fine but um, test it out see how it goes and I look forward to sharing more with you over the next I guess week or so couple of weeks and have a great day